We are here at Simi Valley with Liana Ramirez. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you again. I know last time we saw you, you couldn't talk about much about Power Rangers because you're still filming and you yep. know it's still going on. But how is how's the con been treating you so far? It's been fantastic so far. We've had a wonderful time, been meeting so many nice people, and it's it's crazy to meet the people who support our show and watch our show. Like know, right? we yeah. made a project and people watch it, like what? Yeah. Like it's so cool. But you're not you're not a stranger to creating. I mean, you have Power Rangers. You have your book that you have out. Yes, right. and it's actually been doing super well today. People have been coming in with my book, getting the book. It's unreal. It's a it's a dream come true. Is so. there a, is there a, a sequel or a part two coming out soon? Well, that's a secret that hopefully I can share really soon. That's so get amazing. excited. Also, you've been pr doing pretty well on TikTok. How is that? Yes. How's that platform been treating you? It's been treating me so well. I um, recently hit a huge milestone at 1 million, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, and continuing to post, continuing to grow. Yeah, social media has been a really big thing for me this past year because of COVID. We weren't really able to film much this past year with acting, so it's been an awesome way to continue to put out content and now, entertain people. <laughs> yeah, co like you said, COVID has been like the craziest thing in the world the craziest thing in the world. What have you been doing other than like TikTok and you know your book that have been keeping you sane? Keeping me sane. Um, honestly, it's been a lot of my friends. Like just being with a good group of friends. Um, I've recently found an amazing church, amazing community. Um, and I've had a lot of personal stuff going on this past year. So having them to ground me has been incredible. I would say this past year for I think a lot of people has been a personal growth and that has totally been it for me. And I think just recently I've really found my footing again as a person and I am so thankful for everything I went through because I am so much stronger now. And and so, you're, I mean, you're killing it. Thank you know, you. I'm thank so you. proud to see what, you know, when you come out with a new project and everything. Now, Power Rangers has been going on for three decades now. Amazing. Crazy, right? It's crazy. So crazy. <laughs> um, what has been, I know you guys worked with some of the legendary Rangers like Austin St. John and a bunch of the cast yes. came back. What has been some of the advice that g they gave to you as far as how to approach post Power Rangers? So Austin, uh, he was one of the sweetest. I mean, all of them are so sweet, but he um, kind of took me aside at one point and was like, hey, like, enjoy this like seriously enjoy this enjoy the cons and meeting people and really soak in every single second um, and it's been amazing to take that advice and enjoy every second I mean being here today is a dream come true like I feel like I'm on a high right now because I get to meet so many cool people and it's just it's just awesome so I think taking his advice learning from him and learning from the other Rangers and seeing um, them and following their example has been incredible so yeah I love each and every one of them now Power Rangers is a big nostalgia bomb for a lot of people is there a particular project that you want to speak into the universe that you want, you know, maybe even maybe another reboot or another, you know, continuation of a, like a legacy or something like a TV show, movie? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so when you mean like nostalgia, like ones that are already exist or, or something it, new? It I mean, it doesn't, it's something new, something that you really feel passionate about that you want. You know? Okay, so I mean, I might be a little biased here, but I... I think a lot of people would genuinely enjoy the series that I've created, um, and I, I, The Secrets Within Me, um, my novel, it is a huge universe. I mean, this universe is as big as the MCU, Harry Potter, Marvel, like, I, it has so much story potential, and I would just love to franchise it, have movies, TV shows, comic books, everything. You can do it. I and you can do thank it. you. So that's the goal and that's the dream. And so we're just trying to push it. We're beginning the pitch process, which is really, really cool. And if you guys just want to help out, any posts, any reviews on Amazon Goodreads about the book, it just word of mouth, getting it out there, it helps us tremendously. Um, and yeah, my team and I believe in it so much. So yeah, it's it's really cool to see people really inspired because I think it'll be something very nostalgic for a lot of people. It's so family friendly, like, oh my gosh, we need more stories like that. I know, uh, I think probably what helps, you know, uh, create a little bit more buzz about your book is the TikToks you do where you read yes. a segment from it. Um, yes, it's really fun reading bizarre quotes from the book because people are like, like what? What? <laughs> what is that? Like and outside so, of context, you don't know, you don't know what exactly. to Exactly. Now, as far as, you know, getting back from New Zealand and, you know, getting, coming back to L.A., what has been the hardest thing to transition to? I mean, okay, so transitioning back into just regular life was really interesting. I 
immediately went from um, shooting rangers into actually stepping into a producing role. Um, one of my closest friends directed a movie and we went to Texas and we filmed that. So it was crazy going from lead actor to behind the scenes. Um, so after that, it was just kind of getting back into the swing of things with auditions and things were rolling and then COVID hit. So it's just like everything kind of got put in pause for a while for so many of us, right? And so now it's been like, oh wow, the world's opening up again. More auditions are coming in. So some things are... Something's Hopefully on the in the works, so I, I it's see, great. Like, I'm just looking at her. I see that she has something that she wants to say, but she can't say. Can't it really right now. say it right now. But I'm I'm very excited for the things that are coming up, and yeah, they're gonna be good. Gonna I be appreciate really your good. time, and thank you so much for what you've done for the fandom, what you guys thank have done you. for the fans, and keep killing it on TikTok, as those videos. Oh, are of course, hilarious. of course. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good seeing you too.